Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of me fixing my BRZ FRS GT86. So I'm basically going to show you guys an update of what happened to the front end. So in the first episode, or the first part of my first video that I made, I was basically tearing down this whole front end because it was crushed in. And as you can see, it's all fixed now. So basically i had to um i basically hired someone because there was a little bit of frame damage this frame on this side was a little dented in so i i didn't have a frame puller so i hired someone to pull the frame and then he just went ahead and welded on the radiator support for me and he also put in the reinforcement bar the lights i just put them on there for fitment right now but that's gonna be another video. I'm gonna show you guys how to wire up these Spec D headlights right here. And basically in this video, I I got the um, the cooling fan, the AC condenser, and the radiator right here. And I'm gonna be installing that so I can have everything done in the front end, except for the body. You know, every mechanical thing in the front end should be done by today. So let's just go ahead and get started on that. <laughs> So I ended up bolting all of these on so they all fit good now. So now I'm gonna go ahead and attach the fan to the back of the to the back of the radiator. <laughs> Alright, so that one was actually really simple. All it did was it just clips on there, you slide it in the bottom and then clip it on right there and the same on the other side. So now I have the AC condenser in the front, the radiator in the middle, and the fans in the back. So now what I'm going to go ahead is, and do is put it on the radiator support. <laughs> Alright guys, now that I've mounted the radiator, the fans, and the AC condenser, I'm going to go ahead and fill it up with some coolant. Now for the Scion FRS, you need, <clears throat> I just want to auto zone, you just need the coolant with the blue cap on it. And then, since my radiator is completely empty, I need 7.6 quarts of this stuff to fill it up or 7.2 liters so this is this is 3.78 liters that's 3.78 liters and that's 3.78 so that's seven that's like seven and a half liters and all i need is 7.2 so this should be enough to fill up the whole thing 
So I just went ahead and removed the cap right here, put in the funnel. Alright, so the way you want to do this is you just want to fill up the radiator. I'm going to just use this gallon and fill it up with one gallon and make sure it's not leaking anywhere. And once I have it, once I filled it up with this gallon, I'm going to turn on the engine and I'm going to let it warm up. And while it's warming up, I'm going to go ahead and keep filling it up and I'm going to turn on the heater so the fans can turn on and it can use up the more coolant. So now that I, I got the battery connected, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the FRS and let it get warmed up so I can finish filling up the coolant. still bubbling and I also filled up the reservoir to full so that's full that's still so that's pretty good right there so now what we gotta make sure we, is back here in the back of the engine we just gotta grab a screwdriver or something and open it and let all the because that's a part of the heater hose so coolant runs through there so we gotta open that up and let all the air come out until coolant starts coming out when coolant starts coming out we close it and we should be good and then this is gonna go down, it's starting to go down already. So we just gotta finish topping it off. So when I was adding coolant right here, you can see right there it started to come out. So that means that I should be good. The coolant should stay at that level right there. My reservoir is full. So now I'm gonna just turn the car on one more time and let it run for about 15 minutes. Alright guys, so the car has been running for about 15 minutes now and as you can see in here, the temperature gauge, it's still, it's not running hot basically, so it's right where it's supposed to be, so I should be good with that. Alright, and that's where I'm going to end the video today. So that's basically how you install the radiator, AC condenser, and the fans. And how you top off the, the coolant and make sure you air it out. And then, I forgot to mention when, since I did connect the fans, the car has been running. You just got to make sure that the fans do kick on. And if they kick on, then they're good working fans. But that's where I'm going to end the video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on my next video.